Hello, my name is Dr. Saeed Gallagher. I'm a plastic and reconstructive surgeon with a special interest in gender affirmation surgery. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a pretty cool um, modification of transfeminine bottom surgery uh, we offer patients. And that is what I like to call the custom clitoris. So how this came about um, was I had one particular very well-read patient who'd done a lot of research and understood that there are a couple of different ways or a few different ways uh, to create a new clitoris. So as you may know, the new clitoris or the new clitoris in transfeminine surgery is made uh, from uh, the glands or the head of the penis. And so the idea is we keep the really important blood vessels and nerves, those are the pudendal nerves, uh, running towards the head of the penis and this allows uh, a patient to still have erotic sensation and uh, orgasm so what happens uh, is however there are a few different techniques to do this and we see some variation and in Thailand uh, more commonly uh, because they see a lot of uncircumcised penises uh, what they're using is uh, a chunbury flap that's uh, what is called as one modification or more commonly here in the United States, uh, a lot of us will keep all of the glands um, of the penis, but trim it down significantly so it's smaller and use the tip of the penis as the little exposed part of the clitoris, uh, which is the uh, sensate exposed part. However, it seems to be, and there's a nice paper uh, for, for out of Barcelona in which they looked at um, the sensation for the different techniques. And even though we seem to be doing different techniques, they all seem to work uh, pretty well. And that would be my experience that as long as you keep those nerves intact, uh, you should uh, have a functioning clitoris. It may take some time to come back, uh, but overall it should work. I had this interesting patient, however, recently uh, who knew the different ways uh, to reconstruct the clitoris and she was concerned uh, that with her anatomy, the most sensate part down there was not the glands of the penis at all, but in fact, her frenulum or that little part on the underbelly um, of the head of the penis. And she wondered if we could make this into a clitoris. And so um, it occurred to me that we really can and there doesn't seem to be a right or wrong way uh, to make a clitoris. So the interesting thing will be how her function is once she's fully recovered. Uh, but it's certainly possible uh, to fashion the clitoris uh, from the most sensate part uh, of uh, the girl's penis. And again, will time will only tell if this does make a significant difference but it would seem to intuitively uh, make sense so that's something we can uh, certainly offer in my practice uh, you can have your clitoris your way and if you know you're concerned that the usual part which we form into the clitoris is just the tip uh, of the penis in an uncircumcised penis that's typically what we do um, you, we can change that and it's really not a big deal so that my friends is the custom clitoris